Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it is a makeup tutorial, New Year's Eve makeup. So if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. So to start off with, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is a really nice primer, it really mattifies everything on your face, which is what I want on New Year's Eve. And I'm just applying it with a MAC flat foundation brush. Again, a really nice brush, kind of pricey, but it's MAC. Um, so I'm just applying that. Next step is foundation and I'm using my beloved Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. I talk about it so much, but I just love it. And I think the color match for me is perfect. So I'm just gonna apply that using a Zoeva Duo Fiber Brush. Again, a really nice brush, does all of the work for you. Next step is concealer, and I'm gonna use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I again rave about this concealer and as I'm doing a New Year's Eve look I want to apply quite a lot of this as in total I am going to be wearing quite a lot of makeup and um, so I'm just applying this underneath my eyes to really brighten up the area. I'm also going to apply some around the bottom of my nose as I tend to get quite red there during winter and also on any blemishes I can spot. Do you get it? Spot. <laughs> Next step, I'm just blending all of that in and I'm using a Zoeva brush. This brush is absolutely incredible. Like you can see how quickly it has just blended that out and I've done nothing. Like the brush is doing all of the work for me. Next is onto contour and I'm gonna use this Pro Strobing Kit from Freedom Makeup. It comes with a brush, it's amazing. So I'm just doing a bit of a contour at the moment. It's a cream contour palette, but they also do a powder one and I'm just now softly blending that out. Then I'm gonna take this slightly darker shade and I'm just gonna go over the hollows of my cheeks a little bit more just to really create more definition. I'm again blending all that out. Then I'm going to take the highlight slash illuminating shade and I'm just going to pop this where I want the highlight to actually be on my face, which is the tops of my cheeks, where the sun would naturally hit your face. And again, I'm just going to blend that out, but blending this downwards so it doesn't go any higher than where I've already placed it. And you can see it's such a great kit. Um, you can buy it in Superdrug, so definitely check out Freedom Makeup. Then I'm going to go on and powder now that I have put all of the cream products on my face. I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. You can see how much I love it because I've used so much of it, but it's a really nice light powder. I love it. On to brows, and I've realised that I'm holding this upside down, so that was great. I'm using the Brow Drama Mascara, I think it is, from Maybelline. I've only just bought this, but I'm absolutely loving it. It just really tints all of your lashes. I got it in the shade Dark Brown, and also it makes your brows go rock solid, but in a really great way, so that no hairs come out of place throughout the whole day. It's incredible. Then I'm just taking this brow pencil. I think this is a Maybelline one, but I could be wrong. I've had it for years. Um, and I'm just really defining my brows now that all the hairs are in place. Next onto eyes, and I'm using the Urban Decay Primer in Sin. This is a really nice primer, so I'm just blending this all over my lid. Then I'm going to use the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Metallic Pomegranate, I believe this one is called. These are incredible, they do not budge, so I'm just applying it straight on top of the primer with a brush and just making sure that I get it to the intensity of colour and an even colour that I am looking for and I'm just really, really just going to keep on building this up. Next I'm taking this colour from the Revolution Palette Girls on Film, blending this into my crease and also taking it underneath my eye but not all the way to the tear duct. Next is onto eyeliner and I'm using Black Track by MAC. This is a fluid line. I'm just doing a little bit of a flick. I don't really want too much of a winged eyeliner with this particular look. So I am just now applying the eyeliner. Next step is mascara and I'm using the mascara by Chanel which is called Le Volume de Chanel. It's an incredible, incredible and mascara I am absolutely obsessed with it once that is done I'm going on to 
eyeliner in my waterline and this is just a really nice one by Elizabeth Arden. Next step is back to my contour. I'm going to add powder. Again, this is from Freedom Makeup. It was £3.50, this kit, and it's so amazing. So I'm just applying this slightly lighter shade onto the contour that I have previously made and just really blending that out. Again, I'm going for quite a heavy contour with this look as it is for New Year. And then I'm going to take the darker shade and I'm really just going to really kind of concentrate this into the very hollows of my cheeks. Um, just the slightest space really and then blending all that out. Next on to blusher and I love this blusher. It's by Dior and it's called Brown Millie. It's a lovely blusher. On it to highlight, I'm using Champagne by Bella Pierre. This is incredible and perfect for this night out look. Then for lip liner, I'm going to go in and use the Elizabeth Arden lip liner. I think this is in Sugared Kiss, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm just going to fill my lips in with this lip liner. For lipstick, I'm going to use Spiced Rose by Laura Mercier, my favourite colour at the moment, I'm obsessed with it. Next step is false lashes, you don't have to do this step but I am obsessed at the moment with individual lashes, they're very easy to apply, you literally just drop them on and then I just use my finger to gently press them into place. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.